A Letter Concerning Toleration by John Locke is a pivotal work that delves into the notion of religious tolerance. Locke, a philosopher of the Enlightenment era, advocates for the separation of church and state and asserts that civil authorities should not meddle in religious affairs. Through this letter, Locke presents compelling arguments in favor of toleration, emphasizing the importance of individual conscience and the limitations of government in regulating religious beliefs. Locke's primary argument revolves around the idea that religious beliefs are matters of individual conscience and cannot be compelled by external forces. He asserts that since religious truths are subjective and inherently unverifiable, it is irrational and unjust to impose one's beliefs on others by force. He contends that attempts to enforce religious uniformity through coercion only breed resentment and conflict, undermining social harmony. Moreover, Locke critiques the notion that the state should enforce religious conformity. He argues that civil governments should concern themselves solely with securing and preserving citizens' temporal interests such as life, liberty, and property, rather than meddling in matters of religious conviction. For Locke, the diversity of religious beliefs is a natural part of human existence, and any attempt by the state to curtail this diversity is a violation of basic human rights. Locke's stance on toleration is grounded in his belief in the social contract theory. He contends that individuals enter into civil society to protect their natural rights, and the government's legitimacy is contingent upon its ability to safeguard these rights. Thus, he posits that the government lacks the authority to dictate religious beliefs, as this infringes upon the fundamental liberties of individuals. Furthermore, Locke distinguishes between religious belief and action, asserting that while beliefs are beyond the purview of the state, actions stemming from those beliefs may be subject to regulation if they infringe upon the rights of others or threaten public peace. He advocates for toleration of diverse religious beliefs as long as they do not pose a threat to the fundamental rights of others. Locke's arguments for toleration were groundbreaking in his time and remain influential today. His ideas laid the groundwork for the principles of religious freedom and separation of church and state, which have been enshrined in many modern democratic societies. However, critics have challenged Locke's framework, arguing that toleration might not be feasible in all circumstances, especially in cases where religious beliefs incite violence or threaten societal order. They contend that certain limitations on religious practices might be necessary to maintain peace and stability within a society. In conclusion, John Locke's A Letter Concerning Toleration remains a seminal work in the discourse on religious freedom and individual rights. His advocacy for the separation of religious beliefs from state interference continues to shape discussions on tolerance, religious pluralism, and the limitations of governmental authority. Locke's ideas underscore the importance of respecting individual conscience and highlight the need to strike a balance between religious liberty and societal order in the pursuit of a harmonious and just society.